Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a really quick review on a few skincare products that I have tried recently. All of these products you can get from Bella Naturally, which is an Australian online organic skincare and beauty store. So I'll leave a link to them down below. So the first product I wanted to talk about are these Whatnot Facial Wipes. Now I have tried this brand in facial wipes before, but this particular set is for dry and sensitive skin. So it has organic avocado, apricot and rosehip oils to gently remove impurities, makeup and even waterproof mascara. It's organic, 100% um, natural and I love, 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 love these so much. These are amazing at removing makeup, but they also leave your skin hydrated. They don't leave you with that tight feeling like you've been stripped of everything. Because of the oils that are included in this, they cleanse, but they also nourish your skin at the same time. So it's like the perfect combination. If you have been out of the town having some wine with your girlfriends and you get home late, and you just cannot be bothered washing your face and then moisturizing. I wouldn't say do it all the time, but honestly, you could get away with just using this. The other reason why I love these is because they are so amazing on my sensitive eye area. I've even sort of gone a bit overboard <laughs> removing my eye makeup with these, and a little bit of residue has got into my eye. There's been absolutely no stinging at all. I will definitely keep these in my cupboard at all times because I use them every day. The next product I wanted to share with you is the Acure Cell Stimulating Facial Mask with Argan Stem Cell and Chlorella Growth Factor. This is for all skin types. So this one says, this works over your cells with the power of Moroccan Argan Stem Cells and Chlorella Growth Factor, a true synergy of cell revitalization. French green clay draws out impurities while Moroccan Argan Oil and sea buckthorn oil provides moisture, serious cell repair. So I really like this. It says apply evenly over the face until you look like a green sea monster, allow to set for 10 to 15 minutes. You, you seriously do look like a green sea monster. And the only way I can describe it is it's almost a little bit slimy. <laughs> and that sounds really weird, um, but it's even though this has clay in it, it's not the really thick, masks that I'm used to trying that do have clay in them. It's quite light and it doesn't give you that super tight dry feel as it's drying. It definitely dries but it doesn't go to the point where it starts cracking or anything like that and that's because obviously they have provided some moisture back into the product to make sure it doesn't over dry your skin. The smell is very subtle. It almost smells a bit minty. It's quite fresh. It's not overpowering. The first few days after I applied this for the first time, it didn't make my skin dry, but it's almost like my skin was like resurfacing a little bit. I did get a tiny bit of flakiness, but then after a couple of days, that went away and my skin felt great again. I was having some really bad breakouts when I used this and maybe it was sort of clearing everything out. I have used it a couple more times since that first time and the second time I used it, I felt like it did tingle my skin a little bit more. I can get quite sensitive skin and it can become quite dry and I've had no problem reactions to it. My skin feels great after I use it and I feel like this is something that I would like to keep using. And the last product I wanted to talk to you about is this Eco Rose Hip Oil. This is a certified organic rose hip oil that is made in Australia. It comes in a 15 ml little pump bottle. It's very clean and clear. The consistency is quite runny. It's not a thick rose hip oil. I find that this is perfect for me to put underneath my moisturizer during the day. I only use a tiny amount. I don't want to end up with too much oil buildup in the day. And I do apply a lot more at night. If my skin is still a little bit dry, I do apply a night cream on top of that in certain areas. But I think particularly if you're in a warmer climate at the moment, this would be fine on its own. And I haven't had any bad reactions to it. My skin has absorbed it all. I haven't felt like it's left me with a big bit of oil residue all over my face. The only thing I've found that's kind of annoyed me, and this is really nitpicking, but with the pump bottle, I find if you want to get a tiny bit out, it literally dribbles like a millimeter of product out. If you push down any harder, it just squirts out a whole heap of product. So I think 
The whole heap of product that comes out with one squirt is perfect for nighttime, but I think I kind of prefer the oil droppers, like the little suction droppy things. I don't know how to explain what they are. So I do prefer to have something where you can be a little bit more precise, but that's just nitpicking at the packaging. There's nothing wrong with the product. I do enjoy using the product and I'm happy to recommend the product. So that is it for my mini review today on a few products from the store Bella Naturally. I've really enjoyed trying all of these products. I love trying new things. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried any of these products and what you thought of them as well. I would love to hear your feedback. As always, if you have any requests, or recommendations for me please don't be shy I love hearing from you guys thank you so so much for watching my video today I hope you found it helpful and enjoyable and I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye